Where will I start to apologize to Mazinam the Khan? Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. According to the news of today, Chief Dalentin Chidebarapara has come to the terms that he offended Mazen Namde Khan because I believe he was part of those who so much disagreed with Mazen Namde Khan why he was preaching for Biafra restoration. I believe he was one of those who does not want to hear anything about Mazen Namde Khan. One of those who called him names because he was preaching for the freedom of our people. Now today, he has come to realize that he made a quite big mistake with the way things are not turning around. And he was asking, he is asking now, where will I start to apologize to Mazen Namde Khan? Huh? But it's quite unfortunate that Mazen Namde Khan is now in DSS dungeon for two years. And even after so many court has the shadow acquitted him, Buhari, aka British machine, toy, has refused to do the nephew because the Kabas have been the ones remoting him. And who are these Kabas? You can see that they are not secret. It's now obvious that even some Yoruba leaders are part of the Kabas who has contributed in keeping them the Khan in DSS custody. Because from the beginning, their plans was to read the election. They thought maybe he will give them so much problem. He will make the world to realize that Nigeria is a shithole that's supposed not to exist. This was why they planned to kidnap him. One of those, not all. So now that you have realized yourself, like so many, I believe the best thing to do is to collaborate with those fighting for this freedom to restore Biafra. I've said this several times that any day our brothers and sisters stop blackmailing each other, stop stabbing each other, that day Biafra will be restored. Even though we're going to arms struggling today, we cannot restore Biafra without coming together as one. In fact, Namde Kano did his best to unite all of us all. But immediately he was kidnapped. Everything turned upside down. Today we are as scattered as what I cannot even explain. And this is one and why I have continued to say that we cannot go into Armstrong with the way we are going. We will be heading to suicide if we try it. First of all, no arms, no good arms, no great arms. I'm talking about arms, I'm talking about real arms, not in K47. We are not united. So we are here telling you that it, since you have understood, since you have come to understood that uh, you offended Masin Namde Khan, you have to first of all start from acknowledging what he believes in by doing the nephew. We all have to come collectively to fight for this struggle to make sure that we achieve our and all these whole things you guys are building in Lagos and everything, you have to stop it. The one you build is enough. Take your properties home. Build your houses and your mansions at home. This is the things that will make your land beautiful. Because you are building all those things in Lagos, you can see how beautiful Lagos look. They are killing your people because somebody in social media call it no man's land. 
I don't understand it. What they are dragging. Sometimes I wonder. People who call themselves educated people, some of them behave like illiterate. Let us have something that governs it. We have law that governs it. And the constitution is there. Not that you know, Lagos used to be a no man's land, but no more. It's no longer a no man's land. So many of us are aware of this. But Igbos were not the people who call it a no man's land. Rather, the Yoruba governors did. But today, so many machet court, the prophecies has come to pass. Nam the Kano told you. This is why we are saying we should first of all start. It's not continuously blaming on her. No, normally blame on her, is it? But we cannot continue to blame them. Because we are also contributing in the whole affair, the whole problem. We did not realize today that Euro bars are tribalistic. It was a long time we realized it. So what the hell are we still doing in Lego State? Today, it is of us to be bringing our work things down little by little. We are busy building more. And even as this is happening now, you see some people building houses in a swamp while they have fine lands in Igbo land. Because why? Because of seaport. This is where I get it. Because of seaport, do not have that. Because international people do not have that. If you have all those things, believe me, our brothers will come. But the truth is this. What the hell is those ones who are in Europe doing? Who claim they are billionaire this, billionaire that? Why can't they come together and build seaport for their people? Why can't they come together and be international power for the people? Talk less on when they say they will not use it. Then we are going to bring ourselves out to teach all these leaders. Well, since they refuse to learn, we will teach them lesson that they will learn by force. They didn't learn in their mother's stomach. You can see that the leaders of Europe, the politician leaders, political leaders of Europe, are tribalized. But in Ibo land, we don't have such thing. Rather, they prefer to sell us for their political opponent. They prefer to get rid of force instead of getting rid of their political opponent. But in Europe, balance, such things don't happen. This is why they are called tribalistic. You can see what is happening. Our people have to learn. And for us to learn, we have to try our best to start bringing our investment home. All the menacing motors, so many of them who are millionaires, are billionaires in Igbo land, who resides in Igbo land, both some of them who have different type of complex, fatras, should I call it? Are they not making it? So why should our people believe that it's only when you stay in Lagos you make it? And okay, let's assume you are doing your business in Lagos and Abuja, making your money and developing your land. Why you go and repay them their tasks? Without building nonsense in Lagos. I don't think by now we'll be going through this. So this is more reason why people like Chief Dalenten Who has realized this mistake? Asking a question, how can he project to Namde Khan? Should start from somewhere. Namde Khan doesn't need his apology. What Namde Khan needs is our people to come together and to know that we are not needed in Nigeria. What we need is to build our land and gradually we all we Restore Biafra Nation. I think I've come to the end of this news. Remember, let's as a share. Cheers.